I'm Lauren Taylor, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Gosh, skyscraper. <laughs> not, not compared to your partner. You, I know. That was the hardest thing to film. Oh, I know, I know. He, I just, I don't. Look, I don't know how it's going to work, but yeah. we're going to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how am I going to shoot this right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just zoom all the way out and then move back 10 no, feet. No, seriously. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> or somebody's going to have to be behind you at all times and just bring a step, step up stool. Yes, just so that I can move idea. around with the, with the stool. <laughs> <There you> <laughs> how, how are you? How's the? I mean, we loved what we saw right now, but how's the rehearsals been for you so far? Uh, they've been incredible. We've been moving incredibly fast, which is really fun. Everyone's insanely funny and mm. insanely talented so it's gonna be a really great production now, Cinderella that's I mean that's every girl's dream <laughs> um, how did this opportunity happen for you and what is it that really got your attention well, I mean, I've always been a huge, huge Cinderella fan. Yeah. Uh, when I was a child, I dressed up as Cinderella five years in a row for Halloween. <laughs> so it was meant to happen. It, it was. It was. I always loved everything about her. I loved everything that she stood for. So, I mean, being able to play Cinderella has really been, <laughs> not to be cheesy, but a dream come true. <laughs> this is my first professional theater experience, yes, which is really exciting. Um, I've done television for the last, you know, three or four years, right. and it's really nice to get back into theater. I grew up doing theater and um, then transitioned to television so it's really nice to get back to my roots. Now what's that transition like for you? Is it something that you really have to like it's like starting all over again or is it something that you, it's like riding a bike you pick it up and you're good? Um, the th it's, 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 it takes a little bit to get back into the groove of, of getting from going from theater into television and then from television back into theater. It, it right. takes a little bit. You have to consciously, you know, be aware of everything you're right. doing and, 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 and try to make that conscious transition. But, I mean, other than that, you know, once you get it back, you get it back. So right. it's, it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm always curious what, you know, the hardships are when trying to do something like this, like rehearsals. You have to obviously memory, memorize your lines. You're doing it in front of audience but what have been the struggles so far during the rehearsals um I think just making sure that everyone's off book uh, it can you know it can create because the thing is we are live we're completely live which is not I know that a lot of people are coming off of television and, and going into this production and so in television you can get away with not knowing your lines perfectly but you know when you're in live theater you cannot <laughs> so it's been it's just been making sure that everyone you know knows their cue lines and and they're all you know, off book, which would be good. <laughs> now, you're also a singer. You, I mean, there's a voice in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, is it, what is it like performing in front of this audience? Is it uh, any different from your performances? before? You've done performances at the, the State Fair, San Diego State Fair, right? Mm -hmm. So how different is it doing it in front of an audience in a theater or, as opposed to like an actual concert? Um, well, everything that I have done, I mean, I, I started, actually started singing. Uh, I've opened for Michael Bolton and Debbie Gibson, Wilson Phillips, all these yeah. super, super cool, great people with the symphony, um, which has been really exciting. And it's kind of that same atmosphere, except you also have to know a ton of lines. <laughs> but it's really, it's, it's really quite similar. It's really, it's, it's. It's going to be good. Right. <laughs> We're going to do well. Now, and Alex, oh my goodness. If you have not heard Alex Newell sing, you need to yeah, come. That, he, Alex isn't singing. That last note, I was not expecting it. No, no, I should have no. backed up a little more <laughs> because I, I felt it. <laughs> I know, I know. Alex is incredible, insanely talented. And if yeah. you if you're, if you're don't, don't want to come, just come for Alex. Speaking of somebody. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so with this play, why should the audience go out and check it out? Well, the thing is, um, this theater is, is it's incredible, and the production incorporates so many great modern-day elements that'll really catch your attention. We have modern songs, we have modern jokes, uh, all with a story that everybody knows, Cinderella. Everyone knows the Cinderella right. story. And so it's, it's, it's interactive, and it's new, and it's fresh, and so it's going to be a really great production. And as far as your stuff, your TV stuff, you're on season two of your show. Um, how different is it this time around now that you guys are pretty much close now? I mean, season one was probably like getting to know everybody and trying to transition into it. But how is season two for you now? 
Season two is fantastic. I mean, we um, we wrapped season two a couple months ago, and it's doing really well, which is really exciting. And um, everyone's really tight, but you know, same thing in theater. But I think I feel like theater casts grow closer a lot more quickly just because we spend so much time right. together. <laughs> so I mean, I have like equivalent families now, which right. is really cool. And are you are you wanting to balance the two or the three with singing as well? Is that something that you're looking forward to in the future? Oh, absolutely. I mean. Going back into theater a little bit, I realized that I really need to get more involved in theater. I love it so much, and I've been neglecting it, so I need to go back.